Hey everyone, it's Amanda Rieger Green coming to you from beautiful Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, we've been here on vacation and it's absolutely stunning. Very lush, rich, beautifully manicured gardens. Uh, just a pristine place to be. But I'm coming to you to talk today about the upcoming Gemini New Moon. This is a pretty interesting energy. There's a few things going on here aside from the New Moon that really affect the energy that you will be feeling and impact the intentions you might want to look at setting for this new moon. The sun and the moon are both coupled in Gemini. Gemini is a quick-witted uh, air sign. It's pretty fiery though for an air sign. It's very fast paced. Um, it's also an intellectual sign. So if you think about Gemini, you think about the twins. So you think about the right side of the brain and the left side of the brain. What's important is to be able to marry the two and how you connect the right side and the left side making those two speak to each other so keep that in mind so the logical mind coupled with the spiritual and the emotional side so the the intellect with the feeling side just keep that in mind as you as you move through this energy in addition to the new moon there is something called a grand cross that is happening at the time the full moon the new moon, excuse me, is exact. And a grand cross is when planets actually form a cross in, in the sky. And the planets that are doing that are Venus, Neptune, Saturn, and Jupiter, along with uh, the sun and the moon. And what's really interesting about this is that as you remember, we had this long period where we had all these planets in retrograde and we were really moving within, really working on shifting our foundations, the way we look at things, this huge period of self-transformation. And what this grand cross is helping us to do is to actually cross over from the internal to the external, from the contempl contemplative to the practical application of all the fundamental changes and shifts that you've made. So the energy can feel a little bit uneasy. And if there's one common theme that I would say be aware of, it would be impatience because Gemini is so fast paced and fast moving, very results oriented. I get this way, I'm always wanting something right now and sometimes I want it my way right now, which isn't always the way it happens. But you've gotta to learn to surrender to the time frames that you are self imposing. So, so when you find yourselves hurrying up and needing results and maybe even trying to get ahead of yourself or trying to force things and going against the current just remember to pause and be patient and know that the most powerful time is not in the past and it's not in the future it is absolutely in the present that's the only place that you have the opportunity to make the changes you might want to make so in addition to this Venus is in Gemini so it this new moon is very much about love and relationships so the cool thing about that is it gives us an opportunity to look at what we value in our relationships so if you look at all the relationships in your life that hold importance to you so for instance your family relationships maybe your relationship with a spouse or a romantic partner your friendships look at the patterns that you have in those relationships and what is it that you value is it commitment is it trust is it accountability uh, is it laughter and happiness see what it is that you value and be grateful take notice be thankful be grateful uh, oftentimes and this has come up a few times in the past week or so you know we think about people whom we care about and they might cross our mind and we think I need to call my good friend so-and-so and then you say okay well I'll do it later and then we move on and don't do it if you have those impulses or that that gut intuition about reaching out to someone you care about someone you're in relationship with maybe someone you don't see that often do it again there's no time like the present 
you never know what that person might be needing and a phone call or a text message or an email you know you never know what could be on the other end of that line so take action be in the present um, one on the converse side of that look at maybe patterns in your relationships where that maybe you look at that need some change like some negative patterns you know where you maybe you aren't accountable or uh, on the converse side you aren't trustworthy or you self-sabotage uh, you're inconsistent whatever it is in certain relationships that you could improve on this is a good time to set intentions of change so how can you change patterns that have been with you for a long time that's this is a good energy to really capitalize on this but again to be grateful for what you do have in the current relationships because that gratitude and that open-heartedness especially in this Venus energy really can um, be exponential in that gratification and in an open heart and in growth and expansion so uh, as far as a stone goes I, I got to thinking and what came to mind was the bloodstone bloodstone is a form of jasper and it's green it's primarily different hues of green but it has a uh, red running through it almost like red veins so hence the name bloodstone but what is cool about this stone and especially with this energy is it aligns the root chakra with the heart chakra so it allows the energy from the earth and the blood flow the energy of life the blood that circulates our whole bodies to run up and invigorate our heart uh, the lower chakras are so important for nurturing our physicality and our physical body and that's what enables us to open up to spirit to God to the universe so this bloodstone is also good for discernment decision-making uh, it's, a, it's a very wise stone so anyway so if uh, that's a great stone to start with I hope all of you have a fantastic fantastic new moon the new moon is exact at 11 p.m. Eastern time and 8 p.m. Pacific time on June the 4th which is today so I encourage you that any time after that to go ahead and set some intentions and be mindful but also just remember to be present and be grateful for the relationships you do have take care namaste